Today on Unbox Daily, we are taking a look at Wave 2 of the Fresh Dolls. Mia and Lynette are back with a whole new look and they've brought a new friend, Elena. Hola! Wave 2 dolls have all new fashion and Lynette and Mia have new makeup. You can find these ladies at thefreshdolls.com and Walmart. On the back of the box, you can see a picture of the Fresh family. What's up, Malik? Let's get these dolls out of the box for a closer look. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Wow, let me just say these dolls are very easy to unbox. Just peel the plastic away from the paperboard, then cut the three plastic ties holding the doll in place. There's one at the waist and two at the ankles. That's right, there are no plastic ties holding the head in place, so she has no holes in her head. I can't tell you how awesome that is to me, because I do quite a few unboxings, and those little plastic fasteners, they're always stuck in their head, and it's kind of hard to remove. So yeah, I'm happy about it. Sorry, I kind of went off on a tangent there, but it is no fun getting cut by a plastic head fastener. Out of the box, fluff out Mia's curls and give Elena's hair a light combing. For a flawless look, she has a great hair quality. It's very soft and those big loose curls are easy to style. She wears a black and white striped shirt with black cuffs and collar. It is a long sleeve crop shirt paired with high-waisted wide leg yellow pants. There is a waistband and pleats at the top. These are some serious wide-legged pants. They Velcro in the back, and she finishes her look with a pair of white sneakers. Lynette is pretty in pink with a pink halter top and fitted pink camo pants. The pants are scrunched up at the bottom, but you can just pull them down if you prefer a longer leg. And she finishes her look with a pair of black heels. Lynette wears her hair in an afro puff. She has pink eyeshadow to match her pink top and a deep purple lip. Mia is rocking a large curly afro with large soft curls. She has a neutral eyeshadow with a plum lipstick, wears a black printed dress. It has a high collar and long sleeves, Velcros in the back, and she comes with a pair of black heels. All of these fresh dolls have earrings and can move at the head, shoulders, elbows, hip, and knee. I am loving the new look for Mia and Lynette, and I am absolutely in love with Elena's outfit. Since these girls look like they are into fashion, let's build them a room by recycling the packaging. Craft time! Take the doll box, carefully pull the layers of paperboard apart to remove the plastic, cover one side with scrapbook paper, wrap the paper over the edge, then re-glue the two sides together. So we have a brick wall on one side and the doll package on the back. Place it on recycled cardboard, trace it, cut on the line drawn, and remember to always have adult supervision when crafting. Cover with a wood grain paper, wrapping it around the edge for a clean look. Glue the back of the box onto the cardboard, cut strips of cardboard, cover with a wood grain paper to make planks of wood. I glue two long planks on the sides, glue another one at the top, glue a thinner plank right above it. Cut a wooden dowel, glue it to the cardboard, glue a bead to the cardboard and the back wall to give the shelf more support. Glue an artificial plant into the bead so it looks like a plant in a vase. Add hangers from a previous video, add a painting, add your favorite Fresh Doll accessories, and fashion to make a mini room where we can display our doll. I love mini rooms because we get to recycle the packaging to make a playset for our dolls. And we can make more with our other doll boxes to expand our room and make a larger area to play. 
We've used all three doll boxes, and when they are put together, we can make our own fresh boutique. Perfect for Mia and the girls. I have some repeat fashion, and it really helps to make this place look like a shop. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at the fresh dolls. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time for another Unbox Daily. And that's our collection for now. Just take a bite and see that it's gonna be too much to swallow. You better believe.